All right, getting into it right now. So Cody, of course, fantastic piece player here in the Westchester scene. And he's, mm, I could see him as contender to win today. Was he first, what seed was he? Noku was one, Cody was two. Noku was one, Cody was two. Oh yeah, so, but Cody can definitely take out Noku. He has a um, solid chance of being the entire victor for tonight. But standing in his way first, here in winner's quarters, it's going to be Reed. And Reed is a player who, like a year ago, he wasn't really, wasn't really a thing, honestly. Uh, but now, uh, thing is the least word that I would use to describe him. He's been on a tear lately, just getting really, really better and better results. So this could be a huge win for him right now if he's able to find it. And right now, you see, he's rocking the Pyra specifically, looking for that final blow. The, oh, that giant sword, it's effective, especially against a character like Peach, who can sometimes struggle to deal with characters that have big range and big disjoints. Oh, what a tech! That was so good! And the fact that the little hitbox came out there actually gave him a little bit of... I cannot believe that. That was so smart. All right, and going to the Mithra, I definitely agree with this. For, like, I mean, uh, interesting. Honestly, it's kind of like, it gets him out of the corner, too. And the scoop up with that Uppy. Lots of cool stuff from uh, Reed right now. Taking this lead and absolutely running with it. That's so much damage. And that's Florida is going to do it. Yep. I like that. Cody, I think he threw out that turn up beforehand to catch jump. So that would have kept Reed from taking to the air and being locked on the ground like that. Then the forward air connects and slaps him into the next stock. But... Things are looking pretty solid for Reed at the moment. Uh, as I say that, he actually gets hit by a quick peach combo. You know, nothing nothing too crazy. Just 92%. Just dead. He's just dead. Yeah. <laughs> what? That was gone in an instant. All right, yeah. Reed, you're going to have to do something just as filthy back uh, if you want to stay in this game. Oh, no. He's dead. <laughs> He attacked the bomb. Oh. So I'm pretty sure if he did neutral getup, that wouldn't have killed him. <laughs> the fact that he hit the bomb and therefore went into hit lag, connecting with the bomb and detonating it right in front of him. Uh, also, what percent was he at? Was he at like 25, 25, 30? Yeah. Uh, yeah, people complain about Steve. Oh. No, ban, ban bob on specifically. You can play Peach in bracket, but if you pull a bob on automatic game loss. It's the only way to be fair. Beep boop. Both these players are going to be sticking with their mains. Uh, no need to go shuffling things around too much. We actually saw that Reed had a good handle on Cody in that first stock. You know, was able to survive for a very long time. And uh, the notable thing is that for the rest of the game, he didn't. But it was like contextually he didn't. You know, he got hit by some really sick peach combo that just killed him at like... From, I think it might have been even the zero to death, and then getting hit by Bob, I'm dying at 20. So the thing is that, yes, that was a two-stock, and a pretty convincing two-stock by the end, but at the same time, I feel like when we have a back-and-forth type game state, Reed's doing pretty well for himself. Like, look at that, 112. Switching. Ah, that was so cool. I think he... So he swapped in order to get the momentum. Oh, you, you're not dead, but not looking too hot either. That was cool. Oh. Still not enough to do it, though. Cody living at 127%. Downer's not going to be killing pretty much ever. Uh, oh, I don't 
just holding shield. Both of these, the thing is that these are both characters that have good pressure, but also don't really have a way to kill an opponent for just holding shield in front of them. And we're seeing them both play extremely defensive right now. Not getting hit by the last hit of the Blazing Edge, though. Back throw's not going to be doing it. 157%. He grabs the turnip, but gets the air dodge. Like, that's bad. Yeah, being stuck in lag from that is going to kill him. And oh, yeah, I'll be at a disadvantage. Yep. Like a Lucino or something. Okay. <laughs> Mithra things? Not quite just yet. 51% and now you're actually facing down a Pyro while you're stuck in the corner. That's never a fun thing. 82%. Yeah, this is what I... I Reaffirm what I said before. When we have these sort of back and forth type battles, I do feel like Reed has just been, oh no. Okay, yes he has an edge, but not when you pull Stitch faces. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god. Can these turn up pulls just stop? He died because he got knocked off stage by the freaking Stitch. It took 35 for it. Oh, all right, let's see if uh, Reed can shake off some of that nonsense and get into the next sort of stage of the battle here. He has to avoid taking as much damage as possible considering this is his last stop. Good job grabbing the turnip and getting at a disadvantage at the same time. But now Cody's in the corner. Will you actually be able to take him out fully? Yeah, gonna be mashing. Hope we can get as much damage from the pummels out as possible. That was, oh, oh. The stutter step. Oh my god, just shaking his little booty for a second before reading the get up and forward tilting him <laughs> to uh, last stock situation. I am. Uh, I, uh, I kind I want to say that I'm liking the, the sort of patience on the ledge from Reed. Uh, actually. He's like taking his time at the ledge, but then he's also just getting up in front of Cody. Yeah, he just, ability to throw out so many aerials and still cover so many options. That's gonna be the two of And didn't even get the chance to touch him on our last stop. Beep